My grandfather was a Pan American driver. My father was a rally champion. My old brother, Enrique, was one of the top drivers in Mexico. I won eight championships in Mexico. Where is the next step? I said, IndyCar. And my brother said, uh-uh, let's do NASCAR. In Mexico, nobody knew NASCAR. We had just open wheel cars, all road courses, 40 minutes race. I did not speak any English. I said, okay, let's do it. When we crossed the tunnel and I saw the turn four, it looks like a wall. You have to be kidding me. We want to make three or four laps at the apron. Okay, one lap, two laps, eight laps, 10 laps. And my brother took a radio and said, Carlos, what are you doing? We told you four laps. No puedo, no puedo, no, I can't, I can't. I'm not asking you, do it. What am I doing here? <laughs> Let's do it. That feeling in your stomach, like a roller coaster. <laughs> After three laps, we broke the ice and said, oh, okay, I did it. Richard Petty came to my holder. Buddy, you did a great job. I was so happy. He had tons of potential, tons of potential. He ran really good for us. We were very, very pleased. I think overall it was a pretty good deal. If you drive the 43 for the Petties, it's very special. There was a little bit of a language barrier. A bunch of rednecks from Level Cross, North Carolina, and Carlos Contrera from down around Mexico City. But when you started talking chassis and started talking trucks like a sponge, anything you told him, he learned. He was just a good guy. He was a family man. He kept bringing his family with him. We were a family race team. He came from a family race team. They are really, really nice people with us. They are always taking care of, of us. He spent a lot of time with my mom and my dad. And They'd watch TV and football. We tried to expose him to enough United States stuff as we could. And then he, on the other hand, we was getting some of the Mexican stuff that he grew up with. One day in his house, they made a Mexican party. Sombreros, mariachis. I felt part of, the, of his family. Stock car racing was a southeastern sport. If you didn't grow up in Charlotte or Georgia or Alabama, Chances were you weren't going to be a stock car racer. It expanded the boundaries of what people felt like a NASCAR driver could be. To grow the sport, diversity is a must, and hopefully these guys will, will take us to a better place. As a young Hispanic growing up, I would watch NASCAR races. I'd see that leaderboard. I wouldn't see a Rodriguez, a Guerrero, something to be proud about. Mike uh, met my brother. They started working together. We were going to start a series of our own with NASCAR's guidance until it became officially NASCAR Mexico. The track, the banking, all those things NASCAR Mexico gives them the first taste of before they can jump over to the United States. And you go into a NASCAR Mexico race now, and the passion is there. 15, 20 years ago, it wasn't there. You got to kind of walk before you can run. So all these guys that's come in before kind of open a little bit of the door. I said, it can be done. That was very important for me. That was very important for my country and for all Latin America. There is a link between him and Daniel Suarez. I remember seeing Daniel Suarez as a teenager, following Carlos around and calling him Theo, which is uncle. Everybody saw him as, you know, the godfather. They asked him for advice. I feel so proud of him. So proud. I started a dream and he finished my dream. <laughs>